Hello, my name is Deo Kim, and today I am going to explain about how the CGH, the computer generated hologram, works. So, actually, we prepared some interferometer setup here, and I will show you how the customized CGH can correct the wave front in order to test some optics. This is the setup to explain how the CGH works. Basically, there is a laser source. This is just a simple Heaney laser. And uh, the other setup here is the well-known Mach gender interferometer. Basically, what we are doing is, from this laser light source, we make the beam is focused using this microscope objective here. And by putting this spatial filter, basically a small pinhole at this plane, we can cut out the outside uh, beams so that we can really make a ideal point source here. But at this point, you really want to make sure your spatial filter, that small pinhole is located at the focus of this microscope objective. So put it right focus positions and by choosing a right size of pinhole, you can basically cut out the outside lobe of the airy pattern. So basically, simply you have an ideal point source here. And that point source provides you a expanding spherical wave front here. So the beam is coming out in this way. And by putting a simple positive lens here, you can collimate that beam. So now the beam propagated in this way. So it is collimated beam. And here is a some simple aperture in order to just clip clip down the size of the beam. And then you have an ideal collimated beam up to here. You have the first beam splitter. This beam splitter is in order to provide two beams. So one beam is your reference beam and the other beam is your testing beam. So now you have two copy of the plane waves propagating in this way. And then if there is nothing in between, they just meet here and there is the second beam splitter here. So at this beam splitter, those two beams combined together again. And then one way is those two beams propagated in this way. And we put a one imaging lens here. Focus down those two collimated beams. So if everything was ideal, let's say we had a perfect, perfect collimated beam, then you should see a just point here, or the ideal LED disk pattern. So that's one plane of this experimental setup. And the other arm in this direction is basically the same thing as here, but instead of looking at the how the point looks like, how the spot diagram looks like, we are going to look at how the frame is going to look like. So we put a, again, the focusing lens. So those two beams are focused again. Here we put a pinhole. I will explain about why we need this pinhole here. But ideal case, those two beams will be focused at the center of this pinhole. So it will just propagate without any blocking. And they will come to this screen here. They will interfere together so that you can see the fringe pattern between those two wave points. And as you see, in this case, it's ideal case. So nothing in between those reference and testing beam paths. So eventually what you see here is the two plane wave comes in, just tilted with respect to each other, and provide you a tilt fringe here. So let's see the tilt fringe after we turn off the lights. So right now, we are looking at the tilt fringes. They are interfering between two plane waves, two collimated plane waves. By changing this one of the fold mirror here, one of the arm, if I move this thing, then the plane wave will be tilted as I tip tilt this folding mirror here. And then you, you can actually see the tilt fringe is moving on this fringe scale. So let me, and as I move it, basically you can 
even null out the fringes. So up until here, it's just a simple mock gender type interferometer. Now we start to see what happens when we put some CGH in it. So here is a CGH. Basically CGH, the computer generated hologram is nothing but a some printed pattern on a thin substrate. So this is just thin glass and we print some pattern on it. So here is a thin plate, just thin glass. And what we did is we using a some uh, semiconductor writing machine, we draw some lines here. So this line can be anything. You can generate this line pattern in computer and you can write it on a substrate and then you have your customized CGH. So in this case, this CGH will provide you a spherical wavefront after it passes through this CGH substrate. So right now, we are actually inserting a CGH, the same CGH into one of the arm actually the testing arm side. So right after this folding mirror here, we put the CGH in. So this collimate beam actually passes through the CGH and should give us a desired wavefront after it passes through it. So it keep propagates and focused here. And of course the reference arm is still providing us a reference plane wavefront. And after it passes through this pinhole there, there we see the fringes. Right now we are looking at the fringe pattern. And of course, amazingly, the previous null fringe or that only tilt fringe has changed it into a certain shape. And this is the spherical aberration. So when we designed the CGH, we artificially put we artificially put some spherical aberrations into it. So after that collimated beam in the testing arm passes through that CGH, the wavefront is not any more plane wave, but it become a spherical wavefront. And then right now we are looking at that spherical wavefront and plane wavefront are interfering at this screen. So that's why we are looking at this spherical aberration fringes here. So it proves that CGH actually put such a spherical aberrations into the beam path.